Hello and welcome back to the channel, it's JPA here. In today's video I'm going to be discussing Rangers vs Standard Liège tomorrow night. If you're new to the channel please think about hitting that subscribe button, hit the like button as well and j just try and grow this channel as far as we possibly can. And we'll just get straight to the video. So it's Rangers vs Standard Liège, as I said, tomorrow night. Ibrox under the lights, 8pm kick off. It's available on BT. Sport 3, you'll also get on Rangers TV if you don't have access to BT Sport. Uh, it's going to be a really, really difficult game for us. It's hard to kind of judge where Standard Liège are sitting. Um, it is a massive game for us because if we get a point, it means we're through to the next round of the competition, which is obviously what we all want. Uh, we've got the we've got two chances at this, really. We've got uh, If we didn't get anything from this game, God forbid, we can go away to Lech Poznan next week and hopefully get a result there. But we didn't want to be going away on the last day and try and get a result. We want to get done and dusted here tonight, uh, tomorrow night, sorry, uh, Ibrox, where it's going to be a little bit easier for us. Obviously, I thought look, Lech Poznan were a very, very good outfit and you didn't want to be going away there and having to get something. So we were, ideally we want to get against Standard Liège, but as I said, it's really difficult to judge Standard Liège because we didn't really see what they can fully do against us because the conditions were really, really horrendous in that game. I don't know if you remember this game, watching it, I know, I know a couple of people on the channel couldn't get access to it and they couldn't watch it, but the rain was absolutely horrendous. Uh, the worst I've ever seen in a European game and it was it was like a swimming pool. I generally thought they, they were going to abandon the game at some point. And I think we handled it a little bit better than they did. But you've got to ask yourself, on a on a decent pitch with no water or anything like that, would they have played differently? I think they would have. I think obviously they made a couple of mistakes with the ball. But it was just stopping right in front of them or behind them or whatever. It just They couldn't get a passing flow together. And we, neither could we, but we were handling it a little bit better than they were. So we've not really seen how well these, this team can play. Uh, look at the recent results, they drew 0-0 with Anderlecht uh, away from home, that's a decent result I would say. I mean I'd be pretty happy with a 0-0 away from home uh, to Anderlecht I would say. Uh, so it's a good result, they won their last European game 2-1 against Lech Poznan. As I've already said I thought Lech Poznan were a very very good team, uh, probably better than I actually expected to be fair. Uh, they did get a pick up a red card in that game, uh, their striker Ulari, who I can't remember I don't think he featured against us. Uh, he got a red card, so he will obviously be ruled out for our game. Uh, they then drew 2 2 against Upen. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Upen, Upen, I'm not sure. But they drew 2 2 with them, uh, and the other result was a 1 1 draw away to Antwerp. Uh, a lot of draws in there, you've got to say, so it looks to me like they're, ve they're a very tight outfit. Then they give away a lot of goals, but in turn they do get a goal. Uh, so it's going to be very difficult for us. Uh, if you look at their league form, they are fifth in the Belgian league, which sounds not too bad. They're a point off Antwerp, who are just above them. But they're only four points off uh, the top two teams who are joint first, and that's Bearshot, who are leading the way on goal difference, I think, and uh, Genk as well. So. So although they're only sitting fifth, I wouldn't read too much into that because they are only four points behind the leader. So I wouldn't get too drawn into that. Uh, they are a very, very good outfit. They had a couple of players that did really impress me. That Maleka, I was up front. I think he hit the bar at one point. Uh, he hit the bar again just before half time, which was a, a, a handball. But he looked very dangerous. The, the guy that came on and missed a a late chance where it just kind of scalped under his, uh, slid under his foot rather because of the weather. Uh, Chop, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, C-O-P. Uh, he looked quite impressive as well. But as I say, difficult to judge him, but uh, let's focus on the fact that they have only lost two games this season in the league, which is really impressive. A um, number of good teams in that Belgian league and the, the, as I said they have had a few draws, I'm, I think maybe six overall in the 14 games that they played this season have been draws but they're avoiding defeats quite a lot of the time against these bigger sides like Club Bruges, like uh, Bearshot who are leading the way, uh, Antwerp and, and so on. So they're doing well and we're going to have to be very very 
well organised to beat them. Uh, one more point to put across just while I try and break this team down before I go into the Rangers things. It's difficult to judge how they're going to set up formation wise. I mean against us they played a 4-1-4-1 but against like Poznan they played a 4-3-3. I don't know if that's a formation in Europe or no, but then they, they went away against Anderlecht and played a 3-5-2, uh, sorry. So there's a lot of different combinations, uh, formations that they could play. The question is, what are they going to do against us? I'd imagine being away, they'll probably go for the 4-1 again against us. Uh, but I'm only speculating on that, I really don't know. So we've heard all about them, let's move them to one side and focus on Rangers for a minute. Now at the time of doing this video, I haven't seen the presser. I'm going to do this video really early because I'm working tonight and I'm also working tomorrow morning. So I'd be in a bit of a rush to get the video done up in time for the game. I probably could have managed it but I wanted to get it done properly today. Uh, anyway that moves me to a point that I really don't know what the situation is with injuries. Whether anybody picked up something the other night or the, or in the last couple of games. I'm really not too sure. The last we heard was obviously Ryan Jack was out. Arribo had a wee problem. Uh, and I don't know whether Gerard's thinking in the back of his mind that these players that come in against Falkirk did well. I mean, I feel they did do well. I thought Zungu was absolutely outstanding. And if he's available, I'd imagine he will be involved. Uh, there was also another couple of good performances by the youth players that came in. Obviously, Middleton played well. We all know about him. Uh, Dixon. Uh, King was the other one. I'm not expecting him to start the game or be involved, but I wouldn't be surprised if the likes of Dixon and even King were involved in the bench again. They have been for a couple of European games so far this season, which is a great testament to them. Obviously, they're not probably going to be starting or involved even, unless something major happens with injuries-wise, but it's good to get them involved um, against different teams and different cultures and how they set up to, uh, tactically, because obviously it can be a little bit monotonous with the teams that come in and play Rangers on a weekly basis in the league. I setting up with the four banks of uh, the two banks of four rather, and just sitting in uh, looking for that long ball. These obviously these European teams don't do that, so it's good for the young guys to kind of see all that and see how the setup is in Europe, and hopefully they can get in involved as well. Well, seeing as I don't have any team news for you guys, I will just get straight into my prediction. I'm going to go positive again. I'm going to go for Rangers two, standard liege one. Uh, it's not too positive. I'm not going to go three four now like I normally do with these videos. Uh, simply because I think standard liaise are going to raise a level that they didn't really have in that first game. And I think they will keep it tight. Goal scorers, I'm going to go for Morelos and Ryan Kent. Morelos, obviously, is it? I'm never ever going to know back Morelos to score in Europe. I think that Morelos does come alive in these European games. He was very unlucky not to score in the last leg. I rewatched the highlights just to kind of give us a feel of the game. And uh, their goalkeeper made a couple of really good saves against Morelos. So I wouldn't bet against him scoring at Ibrox again. Um, Ryan Kent is obviously on form, he scored in the last European match. I'll always look for Ryan Kent to score because he's such a good talent and he's got that ability to just skip past the man and beat him uh, and maybe take the shot on like he did against Aberdeen. Uh, he can go either way on each foot so I think he's always a danger in the team. Uh, so let me know in the comments section below what your uh, predictions are going to be for tomorrow night. Uh, one thing before I go. Um, uh, I was involved in the football sheds thing uh, that I said I was possibly, I wasn't really too sure the guy hadn't got back to me. I realise the guy's pretty busy uh, doing his videos and stuff so uh, so it's nice to, for him to, to involve me in his, uh, his wee project that he's got going on. I uh, did a couple of videos for him uh, the other day and they're now on his channel. If you go, want to go and check out his channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe to him as well. He's a real good YouTuber and he's up and coming as well. Uh, so it's great to be involved in that. So, Jimbo, if you're th if you're watching, thanks for getting me involved in that, and uh, hopefully we can do another couple of videos in the future. So, wrapping up the video, I'll let you go enjoy your day. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to JPA and check out Football Sheds as well. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.